This is Calvin Castine. It's the 8th day of March 2003 and we're at the Fieldhouse facilities at the on the campus of SUNY Plattsburgh for quarterfinal basketball section 7 Westbourne against section 2 Salem General. This is a quarterfinal game with the winner going on to the final four the next weekend. We'll sit back and listen to Mr. Foxy Gagnon. At 10 a.m. at Hudson Valley Community College. The visiting team for this game, Salem Central School. The ladies and girls are coached by Mr. Lee Dunnigan. Mr. Bill Ebron is the assistant coach. Injured for this contest, number 12 of Lauren Sheldon. Number 20, Heidi Reese. Number 32, Bridget Dunnigan. Number 34, Jessica Fratzer. Number 40, Laura Adams. Number 42, Mackenzie Sheldon. Number 44, Heather Connor. Number 50, Amanda Carey. Number 54, Jordan Hoffman. And now, the Salem Central starting five. Number 14, a sophomore, Erica Russo. Number 24, a sophomore, Kyrie Loco. Number 22, a junior, Amber McLaughlin. Number 52, a senior, Monica Black. Number 30, a senior, Heather Burr. The home team for this game, Woodsport Central. The Lady Eagles are coached by Mr. Hoki McKinley. Ms. Mr. Jeff Zwobel are the assistant coaches. Number 10, Alex Sherman. Number 30, Liz Baderhoff. Number 34, Victor Hosier. Number 42, Lena Wilkins. Number 50, Peter Carroll. Number 52, Cassandra Wilkins. And now, the Westport Central, starting five. Number 14, a junior, Hillary Harvey. Number 12, a senior, Jerry Connolly. Number 33, a senior, Candy Connolly. Number 40, a senior, Haley Hudgens. Number 24, a senior, Amy Marsh. Your officials for this game, Mr. Chris and Mr. Gordon. Mr. Day is the alternate official. Mr. Cruz is the official timer for our national anthem. National anthem? Emma Woodruff is not here to sing the national anthem today.
Westport ranked number 22 in the New York State Class D level. They're 16 and 6 on the season. Amy Marsh is coming back from an ankle injury. The leading scorer at 14.3. Terry Connolly is next at 10.8. The generals are 22 and 2 on the season. They are number two ranked in the state. That's right, ranked second in the state. They have won 17 consecutive ball games coming into today. They defeated Hammond from section 10 to get to this game in a 50 to 34 ball game. Heather Berger is their leading scorer at 16.6 and Amber McEdron has an 11.5 average. We're tied 2-2. Conley gives it back to Conley. She'll give it to Harwood. Hudson's goes low for Marsh. That Marsh playing that low post. She's, um, in my opinion, my humble opinion, a much more effective player when she's able to get out and run on the floor, not tied up on a low post. There's Marsh. And she is blocked, and there's a foul on the play. <laughs> Erica Russo, sophomore, her first foul. This route is missed. 45 or a minute 15 into the first quarter. New York State, Class D, quarterfinals. See the ankle brace on uh, Marsh's left ankle. This is Berger bringing it up for the Generals. Goes to Vogel. Vogel passes underneath, stolen by Marsh. Marsh out, runs the ball. Gets it back, gets it over to Terry Conley. Conley stopped, back to Marsh. Marsh off her foot, and we have a jump ball. Westport's turn. Salem got the opening tip. Conley intended for Marsh. Tipped out of bounds by McKendron. McKeeklin, <laughs> McKeeklin, I guess I'm going to say. Blocked by Pratt, Monica Pratt with the block. Salem with a lot of height. I'd say the Eagles are giving up uh, inches at most positions. Vogel with the basket for the Generals, and they lead 4-3, 5-52, showing here in the first quarter. Harwood, now Conley to Hudgens. Hudgens goes to Marsh, top of the key, back out. Terry Conley with a shot. Ball goes off the Generals, it'll be white ball. Westport's going to have to make a lot of their first shots count because I think the uh, Generals are going to out-rebound them. That's where the height comes in right there in that attempted pass. And we're going to have a foul. Let's see if it's on Marsh. No. Nope. Hudgens, I guess. Berger into McKeegren. Another jump ball, the blue turn, or purple, purple and gold. The Salem Generals colors. Now 
McKeegren scores, and it's 6-3 Salem. That is blocked. Marsh with the rebound. Another jump ball. Quick, quick jump ball called. That took a play away from Westport. They'll keep the ball. But they had the ball, so they lose the jump ball. Off Candy Conley, the Salem ball. Burger. Over the crack underneath. Too strong by McKetron. Hudgens tied up, tries to go to Marsh. Too many blue shirts between. That'll be a white ball. Harwood out to Hudgens. Now to Marsh. And Marsh is fouled. Four seventeen showing. Six four the score. Marsh. The second shot is instant replay of the first one. And it's a six five ball game. Bogo in the backcourt walks it. Past midcourt. Picked up by Hudgens. Berger almost lost it, but was able to con maintain control. And makes it 8-5 in favor of the Generals. Marsh checks the, the screen up to Hudgens. He's going to go off the foot of Pratt. Harwood will inbound it for Westport. Oh, Conley. There was no control. She touched it, but... I would have taken a chance on the uh, you know, have a trip called. Trip called on Vogel. I would have taken a chance that the refs would have allowed that. There was no actual control in the forecourt. It was just touched in the forecourt. So not sure. I think the refs would have not called it over and back. Marsh to Harwood. And Harwood scores. Pass made her turn. Otherwise, she could have given that right back to Marsh. And Marsh would have had an easy layup. But it works out for the Eagles. And they trail 8-7. They go low. To Amber McCracken. And it's now 10-7 in favor of the Generals. Marsh off the rim, tries to save it. It's going to be blue ball. Bank shot by Amber McCracken. And it's now 12-7 Generals. Ball comes up to Terry Conley. Runs by a screen, but she is blocked. And again, the superior height of the Salem Generals. Marsh comes off. Looks like she's limping a bit. Sandra Wilkins replaces her. Superior height of the Salem Generals is a big factor in the early going. Stolen by Candy Conley. Tended to whip it out to Terry Conley, but intercepted. Pratt goes low, looking for McCracken, knocked out by Wilkins. The white ball. Alex Sherman in for Westport. Ball comes to Wilkins. 
He gives it to Terry Conley, who brings it into the forecourt. Now Candy Conley. Out to Terry Conley, now to, to Harwood. Wilkins to Conley. Westport keeping the ball moving, but down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Ball hasn't hit the rim. Now it's controlled by the Generals. Jump ball. The Salem's turn. Deidre Forsher in for Westport. A minute 39 remaining in the first period. Salem with the ball. They lead by five. Into Pratt. Pratt's shot hits the rim. McCracken with the rebound. Now Pratt with the rebound. And once again, size matters on the basketball court. Stolen by Vogel. And taken by Sherman. Sherman to Conley. Sherman hands off to Wilkins. She's foul. No, clean block. Clean block. By their big center, Monica Pratt. One minute remaining in the period. Westport ball comes deep to Forcier. Wilkins. I'm sure was intimidated. Harwood steals it back for the Eagles. For sure. Keeps it. Throws it up to, off the side of the backboard. No foul. As she and Pratt collide. Pratt was pretty much stationary, so it's a break there, I think, for Westport. Slapped out of bounds by Conley. Salem ball, lobbed in to Pratt. Three-point attempt. Uh, Berger put back up by McCracken. 18.6 on the clock. Russo will inbound it for the Generals. It's it into Vogel, now to McCracken. Berger drives up off the glass and good. That's a nine-point lead now for Salem. Seven seconds to go in the period. Up to Sherman. Sherman goes by Pratt. Throws it up too strong. And the Salem Generals are up by nine. And their feet, <laughs> and their fans are up on their feet. At the end of the first period here on Hometown Cable. Former Westport coach Tom Bove chatting with Northeastern Clinton coach Andy Landry. Pratt rebounded by Harwood. She throws the ball out. Forcher will catch up with it. Marsh back in. And the shot is blocked. Here comes Berger for the Generals. Slapped away by Marsh. And we have a jump ball. Wilkins into Conley. Now Harwood brings it up. Terry Conley. Force here is blocked by Pratt. Wilkins tips it up. Pratt pulls it down. Berger pushes it out to Russo. And Russo will lay it in. 11 point lead now for the number two ranked Salem Generals. Final four awaits the winner. This is Harwood. Marsh to Fortier. Now Terry Conley puts it to the floor. Keeps the ball. 
Six on the shot clock. Forshear has to adjust his shot because of Pratt. Stolen by Harwood. Shot is missed. Harwood gets it back. In a sea of generals. Now Russo will give it to Berger. Berger picked up by Conley. Goes low to Pratt. Not much Marsh can do against Pratt. So try to keep the ball away from her. McCachron gets the rebound in the basket. Knocked out of bounds by Vogel. Wilkins will inbound it. Generals with the full court press. Marsh goes left, off the glass and in. They gave her the left alley and she took it, 20 to nine. There's Berger. Russo looks under, gonna crack in and she puts it up and in. Wilkins says, get me out of here. Tough when you're giving up three, four, five, six inches. Candy Conley will come back in. Candy Conley into Marsh. Marsh drives, Pratt with the block. Russo, no. Rebounded by Marsh. 22 to nine, Generals leading. Westport's gotta pick up the tempo. Try to score quick shots. They're going to a half court uh, offense. Generals have too much size for them. They've gotta be pushing that ball. So only hope in this game. 22, 11 to score. Heidi Reese in for the Generals. Pratt misses an easy one. And it's pulled down by Candy Conley. She gives it to Harwood. Harwood pushes it up for Forshear. Forshear pushes it back for Marsh. Harwood from 15 feet, no. Rebounded by Pratt. Look, even though they didn't score that time, that's what they've got to do. They've got to take the quick shots. Get the the Generals in a running game. Reese scores. Generals look like they're no strangers to a running game. But with the, their superior size that they have over the Westport, Westport cannot afford a half court game. So take your chances on a running game and hope for the best. It's gonna be off Conley. Sherman was coming in, but she took too long. Russo gives to Berger. Berger will bring it up. Russo will inbound it. Russo in again. 326 left in the first half. There's Berger with an outside shot. Attack in with a rebound, and now Marsh tries to dribble it out, dribbles it off Berger, and we have another jump ball. And the Salem's turn. Comes deep. Russo sent it from a Kraken, stolen by Marsh. She's gonna have the easy two. It's the type of game she's best at. 
running that ball up the floor, 24-13. Number two ranked Salem Generals. And rebounded by Kraft. Conley into Wilkins. Back to Conley. Marsh is sitting. Wilkins came in for. Up to Forcier. He drives into the trees. Off Wilkins will be. No, off Blue will be white ball. Sherman will inbound it. Comes to Wilkins. Forcier. Now Wilkins to Hudgens, blocked from behind by Russo, but it's knocked out of bounds. Now Harwood will come back in for Westport. She replaces uh, Sherman. Excuse the camera jumping. I thought I'd shut the camera off there for that second, but I didn't. Marsh with the ball. Uh, Harwood. Less than two minutes to go and a half. <laughs> Took Wilkins a second or a split second to react. Her center of gravity was going backwards. And it, have to readjust her center of gravity and by uh, well, that time it was too late to get the ball. We see Jed Drake here. The Jed Wild well, Ducky's son anyway. He now works for Channel 5. Conley back in, or not. Went to the table for something, didn't come in though. <laughs> Only three fouls on each team. Heather Berger makes it 27 to 13. Only three fouls on each team, so it's been a relatively foulless game. But only six fouls called thus far. The minute 26 showing in the second period. Conley went out of bounds, came back in. If she's the last one to touch it, she can't come back in bounds be, and be the first one to touch it. Berger in this 29-13, 16-point lead for the Salem Generals. We're down to under a minute, 53 seconds on the clock. Terry Conley drives through. That's the type of thing that Westport has to do. They have to push that ball. They can't go into a half-court offense. They've got to rush, rush, rush. They're trailing by 15 anyway. Rush, rush, rush. Hope that maybe uh, Salem will foul trying to, to stop you. Salem has far too much size for the Westport Eagles to try to shoot over. This is Terry Conley with the ball. 31 seconds to go in the half. Over to Hudgens. Hudgens drives and manages to sneak it through there. 30-17, nice play by Hudgens. He was under some heavy defensive pressure. Salem throws it away. Now Bridget Dunnigan in, replacing Vogel for Salem. 
Reese the only one back on defense for the Generals. Hudgens to Harwood. Six seconds left in the half. March. It's blocked. Amber McCacken with the block. Pratt pulled it down. The story of this game has been the superior size of the Salem Generals. Number two ranked in New York State. They lead 30 to 17 at the half here on Hometown Cable. Hillary Harwood. Well, inbound it. Steve Chris is not looking in the crowd. He's looking at the score clock. See when they reset it. Oh, waiting for you there, Rick Bruce. Okay. Does he have it figured out yet? There we go. Rick says he's ready. Harwood, long pass, picked off. My McCatron, she throws away as uh, Marsh picks it up. We'll see if uh, Westport will come out with a run and gun game. Hudgens tied up. Jump ball quickly given to Salem. Section two. Salem, that's the Albany area, Glens Falls, Albany. Have a timeout. Timeout for the Generals. <laughs> Stolen by Hudgens. This is the layup. Vogel got the rebound. This is uh, Berger. Back to Vogel. And we have a foul on Candy Conley. Westport had a Pratt who was fairly tall too went on to play at Syracuse. McCracken with the basket and a 15 point lead for Salem. Terry Conley into the forecourt caught the ball on her hip. No call. Marsh from 15 feet is going to be short. Westport getting just one opportunity. Shot is short. Conley into Marsh. Picked off by Pratt, but she can't keep it in bounds. Haley Hudgens picks up her second foul. This is it over to Conley. And we're going to have a foul on Pratt. We figured it out. It's Kenny Drake. 
not Jed Drake. Jed Drake was a sports uh, reporter for uh, Channel 5. Oh, about 1980 or so in that era. Replaced by Rick Whitlow. He was a uh, well, I was glad to see Jed go. Kenny Drake here on the camera for Channel 5, the son of Ducky Drake, who is following the Plattsburgh State Cardinals in Oswego this weekend. McCracken with the basket, and it's a 17-point lead for Salem. Another block by Pratt. Conley brings it out, gives it to Candy Conley. Salem has uh, Westport completely out of their game. Salem ball. down by Marsh. Salem ends up with a block by Marsh. Harwood pushes it to Terry Conley for three. Badly needed three. Eagles get it back. Hudgens puts it up. So, Westport scores their first points of the second half. Salem's ball. Timeout on the floor. Harwood will inbound it. Wilkins gives to Forshear. Now to Conley. Pass to Wilkins. Put back up by Conley. Oh, yep. Uh, Salem ball. Burger. Salem using their size to great advantage in this ball game. Harwood should have taken that. Westport can't afford to can't afford time. Only in the third quarter. They trail by 17. They've got to get into a, a game where they hope they're hitting from the outside. Run, shoot. Ask questions later. Harwood makes it 36 21. The Kraken's having a heck of a game here. First of three games played on this eighth day of March. Temperature's supposed to get up near 40 today, so in this very cold winter of 2003, that's good news. Uh, only, only bad news for me is that I'll be in here for all the warm temperature. So it could be 20 below out there, and I won't know the difference until I go out to 
hop in my car, which uh, is blocked, parked about yeah. half a mile away here in the, the steel house parking lot. Berger over to Pratt. She goes low. McCracken. He's been unstoppable today. Finally is fouled. Only a second foul on Salem. Two oh nine showing here in the third period. Forty twenty one to score. Terry Conley at the line. It's the first. Berger, 42-23, stolen back by Berger, and basket recount as Erica Russo scores. Amy Marsh Sr. realizing that this is probably going to be her last game. Hudgens to Conley to Harwood. Harwood will bring it into the forecourt. Once again, the general steal it. Marsh breaks it free. Hudgens picks it up. Marsh into the forecourt, pushes it up for Candy Conley. She stops and pops. Westport can't get a get a hot hand. One eleven left in the third period. Bridget Dunnigan in. And Kraken gets a big round of applause as she grabs the seat. Russo into the forecourt. Candy Conley into Terry Conley. by Marsh. <laughs> Scoreboard says fouls on uh, Hudgens. Officer Gagnon said it was on Marsh, Hudgens, not even sure, yeah, she, she is on the floor. Uh, PA said uh, Marsh, scoreboard said Hudgens. 44-25, 19 point Salem lead, 29.7 on the clock. Into Marsh. Forshear with the ball. Hudgens picks it up. It's 
Goblin called. Throws it up, that's going to end the period. Salem starting to think that they're going to be going to the final four. Harwood into Hudgens. Quarter is underway. Conley shot is blocked. Hudgens is blocked. We have a jump ball. Five second violation. I guess those uh, little ball boy and ball girl over there can't uh, <laughs> can't read the scoreboard. <laughs> they live one play at a time. Uh, how did she do that? Marsh pulls up and buries it. 44-27. That is foul. Foul is on Harwood. Let's see, Heather Connors is in for Salem, number 44. And uh, Heidi Reese is back in. 46-27, Terry Conley brings it down. And Marsh scores. Thirty-six left in the game. Reese from the Kraken. Foul. Foul is on Reese. Hutchins hits the first. Sherman will come in for Harwood. 6.15 left in the game. Marsh. Too strong. And be a jump ball. Sherman will end on. Deep for Candy Conley. Stolen by Pratt. Foul on Hudgens. It's good by McCracken. Wilkins into Terry Conley. Fifty to 
30, Salem leading West Park. Cochran with another basket. Here's Marsh. Just thrown up by Sherman. Pratt being welcomed to the bench. Berger. It was Pratt's birthday. They're singing happy birthday in the stands. While on Marsh. Well, it's her first foul according to the PA, so maybe I was wrong earlier. Happens every year. Usually it's later in the year when it happens. But this time I was wrong here in March, so I might be wrong twice this year. 53-30. Rebounded by Wilkins. It's uh, Laney Wilkins. Sherman out to Marsh. Rolls the rim. And ball controlled by Connors. Berger brings it into the forecourt. 4.25 to go. Harwood back in. She replaces Sherman. And now Dunnigan in. Replacing McAckman. She's probably done for the duration. Throws it up and in. 55 30, 25 point lead for Salem. At this point, Westport would just like to hear that final old buzzer. Except the seniors, they never want to hear that final buzzer. Sandra Wilkins is fouled. Foul, Salem Reese. For a second, Dean Fouls on Reese. 55-31. You can see the point. There it is. 3.43 remaining. Reese into the forecourt. Connors. Thirty-four is Kratzer for Salem. Heidi Reese. She's a freshman. Makes it 57-31. Welcomes to Conley, Terry Conley. Vogel grabs the seat. We have timeout on the floor. Marsh into Candy Conley. Back to Marsh. Fifty-five, 
5731. Megan Gibb on the high post. Three second violation. And walk into the basket. 57-33. Over and back. <laughs> I don't think they should complain too much here. 24-point <laughs> lead. Under two minutes to go. Bad over and back call isn't going to change the outcome of this one. Reese brings it up. Stolen by Terry Conley. Picked up by Candy Conley. Uh, Hudson, no foul. Out to Marsh. Candy Conley and she is fouled. Conley shooting two. Fifty-seven thirty-four, one twelve to go. Westport still pressing here. I'm going to play this one right to the wire. Even though there's no hope of pulling this one out. Fade away, rebounded by Marsh, off the shot by Kratzer. Kicked <laughs> by Chris to Reese. Reese with a shot, rebounded by Wilkins. And we're going to have a foul on Reese. We heard it was Reese's third, but there's four up in the scoreboard. Seventh team foul on Salem. Westport with just eight. 57-34 the score. Nineteen seconds remains. Candy Conley. to Terry Conley. Marsh puts up an air ball and that might be her last shot of her career. Thousand point plus scorer. That's going to do it. One second. Final score, 57-34, the Salem Generals will advance to the Class D semifinals, the Final Four. For the Westport Eagles, the Section 7 champions, their season will come to an end. It's a great season to Westport Central. Alice Sherman. Here is the winner of the fourth year. Lane Williams. Lee Carroll. Miss Andrew Williams. Hillary Hartwood. 